Hello guys and gals, uh, DIY CNC Woodworker here with you again for another short video production. Uh, been kind of busy the last few days. I've got uh, several things that's in process. I've just completed this plaque and it all carved fine. The only problem is it's on the back side of a plaque that I didn't like the way it was carving that I stopped. I didn't like the way the text, the font I'd chosen and the way it was coming out. So I need to run it through my thickness planer to plane all this off, which I'll do that here shortly. Uh, I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna pan around and show you the three pieces I have over here drying in process. Those three, you know, and I have three. Well, last month, uh, I had made two plaques to give away at our monthly old folks meeting. We call it Young at Heart, but it's basically old people. And uh, they canceled that meeting for some reason. So I had the two plaques laying around. I thought, well, I knew I'll make two every month, so I'll make two more for next month. And then at the next month meeting, I'll just give away four plaques. In the meantime, I got a call from a lady at church who's part of one of the women's groups. And... Uh, want to know if I could donate or if I'd be willing to donate a plaque as a door prize for their monthly women's woman's meeting and of course I couldn't really say no and she wanted to know if I had anything on hand I said well all I've got is the two plaques that I carved for last month you can look at one of the two of them and if you like either one of those uh, you can have it instead of carving her a plaque that she wanted carved from the get-go I told her I couldn't do that because there wasn't enough time frame when she called me like she called me on a Tuesday evening late and that Friday morning I said I just can't get it done by then so she came over and took one of the two plaques so that left me with one which was this one here my Isaiah 4031 plaque now I've got it out here because I picked it up a while ago and it felt just rough front and back rough I guess over the time as that uh, polyurethane dried on it, it I didn't sand it that well so I did a light sanding on it front and back and resprayed it and then this is the plaque the bubble plaque that I redid here with a different font and then this plaque here is uh, one I've done from scratch that I haven't shown you yet Psalms 51 10 through 12 and it's drying and then the plaque I've got to run through the thickness planer over here will be the fourth plaque now what I'm going to do is pan back over here on the thickness planer yeah and I'll show you how I do this see if I can do this without making a mess which will be <laughs> anybody's guess on that what I do is run a piece through about the same thickness ahead of my board to lift the rollers up and then I run another piece through behind my board to keep the rollers lifted up and this helps hold down on the, helps hold down on the, what am I trying to say Skype there we go let's turn this on now I've got to be fast
that's got it smoothed down now I gotta go over here to my sanding table and sand it so let's pan over here to it there we go <laughs> I still haven't completed my electrical wiring yet. It's still on hold from before when I started having all the neck and nerve problem. But that's uh, fast uh, correcting itself. Matter of fact, I think it's pretty much under control at the time being. But, uh, I just haven't got around to finishing that work. So what I want to do is change this out. Put my 80 grit on. And I don't know if you can see it from this view. But I've got some anti-skid material here on the table to help keep my board from sliding around as I sand it. It's just a shelf liner that the wife had bought for a shelf that she wanted to put in the bottom of. And I thought, boy, that makes good anti-skid material. And what she had left over, she brought out and gave to me, and I just laid it here on the tabletop. And it seems to be helping a lot. This board is not moving nowhere near the way it used to. Pretty much hold it with one thumb there. Which makes the sanding task a little more enjoyable. Not chasing the board all over the table like I have been. over and do the front side try and do most of the sanding with the grain I do do I, I repeat I do do cross sanding cross grain sanding but I try and sand most of the time with the, with the grain now this board uh, had a lot of black marks and smears and stuff on it that came from the store where I bought it, I guess, in shipping it. Got those marks on it, but they seem to sand off fairly easily. Alright, that's all I'm going to do for that for right now. I'm going to take this over and set my router up and go ahead and put the contour on these edges. I didn't show that to you on the last plaque I did and I intended to do that so you'll get to see it now. Let me uh, get things turned around here and hooked up. I'll be right back with you. Again, I'm still working off of two power cords so unplug one thing and put it away and hook up something else I'll just temporarily stick this over here for now I need to jack it back up and clean it out but I'll do that off camera you don't need to watch me doing that Bathroom vanity still being pushed around from pillar to post. It will get done one of these days. Okay. I've got a chamfer of this.
I realized y'all probably couldn't see what was going on there. <laughs> but here's what I did. I went and cut this little, where is it? In the edge there, can you see that? Get over here this way, that Roman OG in it. That's what I did all the way around, cut that in there. So now we're ready to go ahead and go through the finishing process with my final sanding and all of that. And uh, I'll pause the video for now. You've already seen that a couple of times. I'll pause the video and uh, when I've got that all finished, we'll come back. Okay, folks, here we are. Ready to start spraying my polyurethane on this piece. Whew. Fortunately, this we are far enough into September now. This Texas heat has abated some where I can work out here in the garage with the door open and it's not so terribly hot. In fact, we're probably in the low 80s right now. I'm down to about the bottom of this can of polyurethane. Let's see if it's enough to finish this one side the first spraying. Okay, I'm gonna spray this till it almost quits. I don't want to put too heavy a coat on. Let that dry for an hour or so, and I'll come out here and move it so I can bring my car in. And let it dry overnight. Flip it over. Do it, the back side of it. And that'll be my four plaques completed for this next month's giveaway. So there you are, that's it. Another intriguing, interesting, mind-numbing video from me. The DIY slash CNC sweaty woodworker. Nice talking to you again. Hope to see you on the next video. And now have a good day. Well, shoot fire bubbas. I forgot to show you the best part. There it is, my Grizzly HP Deluxe Bandsaw G0555LX. And on top of the bandsaw, on the right hand side, that's the base for the bandsaw. A little small box on top of that box is the uh, uh, six inch uh, riser kit. And of course, the small box I've shown you already to the left is the mobile base. That will get put together just as soon as that's completed. And my wiring over here is completed. I promised the wife I would finish that up. And I got to keep my promises to her. So, but I wanted to show you. It's arrived. It's here. And I'm anxious to get it together. All right. This is it for sure. Now the DIY CNC Woodworker, we are signing off. Hope you have a very nice evening. Good day.